So back in 2010, I bought Minecraft. I'm pretty sure at that point the game was still in alpha. And at first, of course, you couldn't really have skins, but when skins were properly added to the game and you could change your skin on the website, I chose Shrek. I did this because at the time I was making videos on Call of Duty and I used some Shrek songs in some of my most popular videos. Little did I know that uh, nine years later I'd still be playing Minecraft and in fact it would be the main thing I uploaded on my channel. To be honest, I'm still surprised that I'm still making videos. And in my first ever Minecraft video, I appeared as Shrek. A slightly different version of the Shrek you see today, but Shrek nonetheless. And over the years, the skin changed slightly. And I, in fact, got more and more green. And to be honest, it's become a bit of a staple for my Minecraft videos. I'm that weird, ugly ogre. But I think as we're approaching 2 million subscribers and also our 10th year anniversary of playing Minecraft, it's time for a change. Why now, Joel? Why are you doing this? Well, to be honest, it's always kind of bothered me, but I've just been too scared to change it. I know that sounds silly, but I've been Shrek and Minecraft for so long that it's sort of part of my YouTube channel and part of everything. One thing it's part of is fan art. When Lizzie recently asked for her League of Villains fan art, it's always interesting to see how people draw me. A lot of people go the way of how I look in real life, kind of, but with like green ears sticking out. Some people just draw me normally, but slightly green. And some people just draw Shrek. And honestly, when you look at some of these fan arts, you've got like Lizzie looking amazing, you've got Ollie looking amazing, you've got Megan looking amazing, and then you've got Shrek. Yeah, this is not a diss at any of those artists. They've done their best. It's my fault. I look like Shrek. So that's my reasoning. I hope you guys can understand. I know this is probably not a big deal for most people, but it is for me, okay? It is for me. But it feels weird just starting a new video with the new skin. So instead, I feel like we should go on an adventure to find this new skin. And I found this little card recently, and all I had to do was cry on it, and we got given some directions. Let's see where they lead. Well, that was a long walk, but we're nearly there. I actually picked up some friends along the way. We've got Donkey here and we got Puss as well. Whoa, I see something through the tree line. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What is this place? It is me, Puss in Boots, and I say this place is a fairy godmother factory. Well, uh, maybe we should pop in for a spell. <laughs> get get it oh, in we go what's this oh a waiting area oh desk person come on guys wait wait what are you doing what come on guys yeah desk person hey how can i help you hey we're here to see the fairy godmother oh she's not in at the moment but you can come back later well between you and me we're with the union oh well between you and me we don't even have dental. You don't have dental? Oh, okay, well, you didn't see us. Okay, wink. Should we head inside? I think we should. Let's check what's behind this door. Whoa, it's the fairy godmother's potion room. Wow, it would be awesome if there was a potion in here that changed our skin. This one here is displayed really nicely. What is this? Happily ever after potion. I think I need a happy ever after. <coughs> oh, yes. That tasted good. Have, have, have I changed? I'm, I'm still the same. I guess these potions don't work on ogres. Oh, hmm. Oh, a new day. Wait, I feel different. What's changed? Oh, absolutely nothing. Yeah, because obviously it's nothing's changed. I drank a blooming healing potion. What's going to change? Nothing. I've got to make the skin myself. God. Let's get to work. By the way, yes, I did spend approximately four and a half hours building a factory of the fairy godmothers just for that two minutes of video there. So here is a very sped up time lapse of said building happening. Oh, and I didn't build it all. Actually, Lizzie built the potions room. So thank you, Lizzie, for that. We might have to get her in a bit later on as well when inevitably I mess up this skin. As around four years ago, I made some videos where I made some skins and to put it nicely, they were absolutely terrible. So I did this whole thing where I walked through the process of me making the skin and turns out my microphone wasn't recording. Cool. So instead, I've just got a quick time lapse where I'm having to talk over it now. And originally I was thinking, let's do green hair. I was liking green hair. I thought it'd be a cool idea to like give a throwback to the Shrek. And I did kind of like it, but at the same time, I just thought something was off. So I thought, let's go back to brown hair instead, as that's my hair color in real life. But I wanted to get a bit of that green in there. So I put a green stripe through the center of it and I actually changed it up a little bit later 
later, so I think it's more of a diagonal sort of thing. I also had the Shrek ears in, but they ended up just looking like alien ears. I was asking Lizzie for some advice, and she said that as well. And then, of course, we had to make the rest of our body as well. I did some sleeves onto my top. I kept the same outfit. I thought the same outfit looked pretty cool. You can see me going back to green again here, and in the end, I just stayed with the brown because I thought the green just looked way too bright. I tried different shades of green. I just couldn't make it work. And what you're seeing here isn't the final design. In fact, I actually went into Photoshop afterwards and adjusted a few things. So let's go have a quick look, shall we? And here I am. Oh my gosh, I look so different. You can kind of see I've made it a little bit messier. Here's some action shots to get some third person perspective. Plus a side by side comparison showing you the transformation. Can we still? Yeah, we can still kill chickens with ease. Good, good. Don't worry, that's not changing. With armor on, we look like a completely normal person. No massive chin anymore. Oh, I do like it. I do like it. I'm happy. It feels weird not being Shrek anymore, especially when I've got my hand out and it's not green. But the change needed to happen and I am happy with it. I think it's looking good. Feels good to not be an ogre. And uh, if anyone wants to make some fan art of my new skin, I will be looking at Instagram. Now that I don't look like an ogre. <laughs> but there you have it, guys. Sorry I made such a big deal out of this, but it is kind of a big deal to me. I know this is only a short video, but if you could leave a like and a comment as well, let me know what you think of this new skin. It may take a while for you guys to get used to it, but I'm sure in a year's time, we'll forget all about Shrek. Just kidding. We will never forget Shrek. I may not be an ogre on the outside, but I'm still an ogre on the inside. Thank you for watching, though. Make sure to subscribe also if you haven't already, and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.